right, today I'm reviewing the Paula's Choice Peptide Booster. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And uh, if you want to help support the channel, give this review a thumbs up. So Paula's Choice has come out with this recently. It's uh, new to her line, and it uh, goes with a lot of her boosters. She's got uh, hyaluronic acid boosters, vitamin C boosters, um, and this is meant to be a booster that you can add. You can use it alone, or you can add it to like a moisturizer. Um, I've been mixing it with lots of different things. I've been using it on my lashes lately as well. Um, peptides are good for your um, eyelash health and growth and helps them grow a little bit longer. Um, but I've also been mixing it in with uh, some products on days when my skin is a little more sensitive than normal. Um, I've been mixing in with uh, sometimes the uh, smoothing treatment, which has got a lot of good uh, alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids. But on days when my skin is a little more sensitive than others, I'll mix a drop of that in with this to kind of... Uh, diluted a touch and uh, also add some good peptides into my skincare. Or um, I also use the Drunk Elephant uh, Serum, so I'll mix a little bit of that in. Lincoln, Lincoln, you wanna say hi to everyone? Lincoln, come here, he's very shy. Lincoln says hi, he's being a naughty boy, aren't you? Yeah, he's very shy. Ike, not so much, Lincoln is shy. But I'll mix a drop of that in or um, some of my vitamin C serums that I use, um, again, on days when my skin is e either a little more sensitive or a little uh, drier than normal. Mix a little bit of that in and it kind of helps uh, add a little bit of hydration into the um, serum. So, um, or you can mix it in with any other moisturizer that you use. So um, let me start with my first criteria which is packaging. A huge package. And I'm a little bit torn. The dropper bottles are efficient. I prefer a little pump. That, that would have been a dream for me. Um, but for some reason, this one um, is a little bit harder than a lot of other ones, uh, it's, which is good because it's keeping a lot of the air out. But if you're mixing it with something you've got in your hand and you're trying to do this, especially when this is meant to be a booster, it's a little bit clumsy and it would be a little bit very a little bit too easy for me to spill especially if you've got a squirt of something else in here and you're trying to take this out with one hand um so for boosters like this i much prefer a pump than a dropper a dropper is still does a good job of protecting uh the ingredients from light and air and it's an opaque bottle i would have just preferred a pump on it so i did not give it a thumb up there but um thankfully it's not anything like a jar or or like an essence bottle where you pour a ton out. So I would have just preferred a pump on this one. So I did not give it a thumb up there. Uh, number two is alcohol. Alcohol, any kind of alcohol you have, just give me anything. This thankfully does not contain any denatured alcohol. Paul's Choice is very good about that. Uh, number three is fragrance. Hey, what stinks in it? And again, no fragrance. Paul's Choice does a great job with that. Uh, number four is the manufacturing location. This is made in the U.S., so no issues there. Uh, number five is ease of use. That was easy! And I gave it a thumb up there. Um, aside from the dropper being a little bit stubborn, it's very easy to uh, use. You can mix it with anything. The nice thing is you can also use it alone, um, but it applies and absorbs into your skin quite nicely and leaves your skin feeling silky soft. See there, I almost knocked the whole thing over. That would have been $52 down the drain. We don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, definitely very silky, does a good job uh, hydrating your skin and giving it an extra boost of peptides, which are very good for uh, anti-aging, wrinkles, uh, firmness. There's lots of research that uh, peptides can do so many different good things for your skin. Uh, so if you need a little bit of boost of hydration or help with any wrinkles, fine lines, hyperpigmentation, uh, sagginess, firmness, uh, peptides have it all there. So um, always good to add into your routine if you don't already have any peptides in there. Uh, number six is antioxidants and pigmentation. And like I just uh, got done talking about, it's full of peptides. Uh, so I gave it a thumb up there. Lots of good peptides. Uh, that's why the uh, there's an eyelash serum that I use. And I was very skeptical about it. It's the Rodan and Fields uh, lash, lash Serum. It's very, very skeptical of that. But that one's got 
lots of peptides in there and I think that's why it really did help my eyelashes grow longer and thicker and stronger because uh, that one's got lots of good peptides in there and it's got keratin and things like that so um, that's also why sometimes after I apply that Rodan and Fields I'll apply just a little bit half a drop of this to my eyelashes um, and help help them grow a little bit longer as well so um, lots of good antioxidants Lincoln, do you like antioxidants? He doesn't. He only likes pepperonis. Pepperonis are like $15 a bag, but if he loves them, he'll eat them all day if you let him. So, um, on to number seven, which is animal testing. And thankfully, Paula's Choice is cruelty free, uh, which makes you feel a little bit better about buying from them. So, like that. Uh, number eight is performance. And I stand by my performance. Keisha. And I gave it a thumb up there. Um, I like how it absorbs quickly but leaves your skin feeling nice and soft. And I can definitely tell my skin feels a little bit smoother and a little bit more firm since I've started adding this into my routine a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, it's definitely helped my skin feel a little bit firmer. And I think it's also helped keep a little bit more moisture in. It's been a lot less dry than it has been since I started using this and mixing it in uh, with certain serums as needed. So I like that. Uh, number nine is the price. The price is wrong. And this one's a little pricey. It's $52 unless you can get it on sale, which uh, Polish Choice will frequently have sales. So if you can sign up for an email list. Uh, do that or check out uh, Derm Store. They frequently will have good coupons, so you can get it at a good price. Um, but it's still pricey either way. And for, uh, I think it's 0.67 ounces, it's a little pricey. So that's why uh, you probably don't want to use more than a drop here or there. Otherwise, it'll go by too fast, and it is a little pricey. So I did not give it a thumb up for that criteria. And then number 10 is the It Factor. Is it awesome? It's pretty awesome. And I did give it a uh, thumb up for the It Factor. Uh, peptides, there's more and more research coming out on them every week, uh, showing that they're very beneficial for your skin and your eyelashes. And uh, yeah, so it's worth adding into your skin routine, especially if you use a good retinol. That's another thing if you use a retinol, if it's a little, if you're starting out new using a retinol, maybe mix a drop of this in here or there. Uh, to help your skin kind of adjust to it. So that's kind of what I like is you can kind of customize this and kind of create your own skincare routine with this. So um, it's worth checking out, especially if you can get it on sale or possibly a good gift with purchase. Um, always watch for those. Um, so overall on my scale of one to 10, this got an eight, which is uh, pretty good. Um, they've done a good job with this product, so. Um, anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to give this a try yet or not. And uh, if so, what are, what your thoughts are? Or if you use any of the other Paula's Choice boosters, uh, what do you use and how do you like it? And uh, what do you mix it with? So I'm always looking for new thoughts. So uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come with at least one new review every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys.